we have? <laughs> What's good? What's up? There it is. <laughs> so game one of Smashville, the Legend of Zelda matchup, Link versus Ganon. Um, I mean, yeah, like this, this is this is supposed to be canonical or whatnot. There are no game overs in this one though, so uh, one of these people, one of these two is definitely going to lose, and there's no way they can really get back uh, that loss or anything like that. Right off the bat, we see pretty much swinging at each other. Not really much of a gameplay, just really you know throwing out what they want to throw out, trying to establish their gameplays over one another. Oh my god! Really gonna go for like really gonna go for an option like that at the beginning of the game. Shows the audacity of these two players. The uppy at the ledge, barely missing out on the kill. But I think that arrow did, yeah, it did take away the uh, potential to recover. Nicely done, nicely done. Man, he's been getting eaten up by those boomerangs a lot. Oh, kicks back the bomb. I know he was mashing, but they worked out in his favor. Buck still doing the most to try and keep this lead. Right now, the up tilt comes out. You walked away from the up tilt. You madman tries to jump up B, but was too short. Will not get back. So now it's up to Red to make the comeback, which Ganon can certainly do with the amount of beefy hits he can get. Spot dodges the F smash real smart, gets his F smash of his own. Doesn't get a smart ledge guard. Oh! And gets the follow up off the up smash as well. The up the off ledge will get the kill, and he drifts back. Nicely done. I think Red has the potential to adapt to this. He just needs to learn how to space himself around the moves of Link. It's a little weird because we don't have Links down here, but I do trust that he'll be able to adapt in the next match. Assuming he doesn't make the comeback in this one, you never know. Ganon can get a lot of damage very quickly. So I want to see what he does here. Sends him off stage. Has the potential to get the spike with the up B early. He didn't react to it in time. Nice back air. He's been getting a lot of those, those, those short hop aerials in place. Had the potential for the F smash, but tried to space it a little too far. What do we got next? What do we got next? Looking for that final hit to take the stock out and get it back to a more even game. No bomb play here. He will die just like that. My man Buck is on his last stock just like... Man, it was real quick. He was looking real firm and dominant. But unfortunately, Red, Red is taking control right on back. The F smash not nearly going to come close. Good follow-up. Caught Red mashing. Looking for the down smash. That was never going to hit in a million years. You would have to begin it in cryo once again to get that hit. Gets the upbeat. Uh, oh my god, so close again. Isn't able to find that hit. This will be the final hit of the game, though. F Smash sealing away the darkness for at least a little bit longer. But I mean, you got sequels after all. And that's what we're going to have in our game, too. Here in Battlefield and. Battlefield and Lilat is the bands. Understandably, you don't want to have a small stage versus Ganon, and Ganon can cover the platforms of Smashville. I'm sorry, of Battlefield extremely well, depending on which side he's on. Not as good as covering the Smashville platform. It's a little bit wider in the stage. You know, the way that it's oriented. If he sends, a, if he sends you on the platform, it would have to be like, it would, it would have to be like, perfect for him. It's doable, but it's perfect. I did miss which stage he picked, but I do think the bands were good. Um, not entirely, again, not entirely sure what stages Link should ban in this situation. There's a lot of matches. There's a lot of ways things can go, but. Yoshi's story is the pick here. The slants will actually... Ooh, okay, okay! Get real aggressive with it. Start out with the down B wizard kick off the jump. Once again, off the... Yo! Grab him by the throat and snatch him out the air. Ridiculous stuff. Red starting off with a vengeance here. Like I said, that sequel will really be hitting different. Maybe the hero will start losing at the very beginning and pull it out in the end. Oh, the air dodge not getting him back to the ledge, and that's not a lot of percent on Red's first stock here. You have to make up this distance, and it's very difficult against the heavy. It's been really hitting them buttons on you. It's the first hit of Nair and managed to connect into a... Oh, my gosh. Barely spot dodges that F smash in time. He's got Clay on, but he's swinging like Cassius Clay. Uh, the difference is Cassius Clay. He, keep, he kept the W's going. Right now, he's got something going for himself. Looking for the ledge trap. Gets thwarted by the command grab. That jab on shield would only have been safe if he wasn't shielding in the first place. Interesting, interesting. Gets the F smash. I think a situation like the one where Red was sitting in place in shield waiting for him to do an option. And instead, you know, Buck spot dodge. I think that goes to show that he may not necessarily know what kind of out of shield options Red has or that he'll use. When you see someone in that position, generally you want your nice up smash to catch the roll. In that instance, I think it would have caught every single option except for jump. Um, but again... 
you want to know your character, the character you're going against more and more. If you don't know these things, then it will it will show in the way that you know, uh, in the way that you play in certain situations. That's Vata being one of them. Red, of course, here looking to keep the damage going. He's up one stock. It only takes a little bit to take off. You know, it only takes so much to take off a stock here. Nice command grab. Looking for another one. He's gonna go for another one. Look for the F smash rollback read. Not gonna find it. Only rollback we have around here is Walmart, and that sales ain't start yet, baby. Get it popping. What's good? Nice bomb. It sends him in the other direction, though. I think if he was a little bit more to the left, it would have been fine. Whiz kick out of shield. Very slow. Got to catch that punish. Nicely done. Gets the late dash attack. 91% now. He has the chance to get a comeback here, but the up smash. Catching and exploding the bomb. Good God. That up smash. Dummy strong if it blows up the bomb, too. My goodness. Red getting the second game, and the sequel turns out to be just, man. <laughs> the, uh... I don't curse. I didn't see that. Oh man. Yeah, that's true. The one, the one, the one kid in the chat actually doesn't curse because he's way too pure to do that. He is. Too, you are too pure to do that. Sweet kid. All right. So game three did miss the bands. Did miss the stage pick. We'll see where they go. Same character should be. We'll go to Kalos for the final stage. Lots of space for Link here. I do. Yeah, the counter pick is good in that concept that it allows him to get a lot of space. But the way that Button's really been fighting, he doesn't use the space for his advantage. Nor does he camp a lot. Nice down smash on the turnaround, catching both sides. He's yet to catch that recovery yet, though. And it's not going to cost him, though. Not yet, at least. It cost him on the first stock of the on the first stock of the set, I believe. Finally gets the downer in time. Was a little slow the previous time, but he gets it that time. Nicely done. Ah, uh, but that's an advantage that you don't want to be in. My man, you, you could already see it. You could already see it. You know it. He, he may be laughing it off, but you already know that tilt is there, baby. You don't want to get tilted off the stage. Oh, my God. I feel like Keitaro out here, bro. Oh, no. He air dodged at the ledge, and that'll be the game. Game three going at an absurdly fast rate, and that's it. We're done. Moving on to the next round is Ganondorf. We'll have to see, we'll have to see Link in another game, bro. Breath of the Wild 2 was not his game. Oh. 